What's up, folks? Um, going to be taking a look at some new, like, really super short commercials that came out from Lyft. They're anywhere between 7 and 16 seconds long. We had the Uber Go event recently. I don't know if this is like counter-programming or intended to be counter-programming. I don't know. I had mentioned in a previous video about the Uber Go Get event that there were Uber commercials that were like this. I was wrong. They were Lyft commercials. So let's take a look at these. How to human when you again. finally go back into the office, remember, 9 a.m. meetings still start at 9 a.m. Okay. Well, at least you won't be late. So the only thing different about that... Oh, well, we got another... Oh, right, I queued these all up. So I guess the only thing different about that is the guy's wearing a mask. How's that any different from before all this. All right, here we go. Next one, how to human again from Lyft saying hello. Has it really been a whole year since you said hello to a stranger? Hi. You got this. Just say hello. Maybe sup? Or howdy there? Or you could just wave. Uh Maybe workshop that. Really? Have people but not first said hello to a stranger in over a year? <sighs> okay. Oh, these are like the super short ones where there's no voiceover apparently. So All right, it's your first date in the year. One. Come on, you're going on a date. It's gonna be great. Driver saw you dancing, but keep it going. Don't matter. Who's the man? You're the man. When you finally go back into the office, remember, 9 a.m. meetings still start so a little bit different. at 9 a.m. Take on this one. Well, at least you won't be late. So There's you forgot how to go places. Longer version. Just grab your phone, open the here. lift app, and call your ride. Now you just have to escape your blanket cocoon. You magical butterfly. I will say this, the guy doing the voiceovers, I like it. I like the guy doing the voiceovers. Other than that, I mean, I don't know. This is, I think this is all kind of tying into the whole vaccine thing and people can get back to normal after they've had their vaccine. And I understand the appeal of that. And I understand why people want to get back to their normal lives. I don't know. It just, these aren't, I, I don't know who these are targeted for and where these ads would play. Maybe they're ads that will appear here on YouTube between videos and stuff. Who knows? If you see one of these in another context besides this one, I'd love to hear that. Love to hear what you thought about these commercials and whether or not this is getting back to normal and things like that. Uh, um, love to hear what you think about... Um, you know, all the things that have been going on lately with Rideshare and how they're changing. I'm looking at picking up passengers again just because the whole food delivery thing is is starting to drop off a bit. Now, things might change in the next few months because in my market, we have a pretty big summer crowd and you can do a lot better in the summer than you can in the fall and in the winter and the spring. So we'll see how things go. So my name is John from Ride Upstate. If this is something you like to see, I'm going to pop these out. And you want to see more of this, first of all, hit the like button. That lets YouTube know that you like this kind of stuff. And subscribe, because that lets YouTube know that you like my stuff. And listen, don't just subscribe as a way to like this, because here's the thing with, with YouTube. 
is if you subscribe and you don't watch the videos of the people you're subscribed to, that hurts them and the algorithm. So only subscribe if you want to see my content come to you on a regular basis. All right. Thanks. Bye.